The 3.3-kilometre-long Friedrichstrasse used to be known for its numerous pubs. Now it's a shopper's street. But it is also home to cabarets and theatres, big and small. It all began with the local railway station. Because it was simply named after the street, when the station opened in 1882, it became so well known that Friedrichstrasse soon embodied the longing for life in the capital. Ralph Hopper has written a book on the history of Friedrichstrasse and the powerful attraction it had, especially for the masses. The pubs serve mainly beer. The oldest building here was built by a Bavarian brewery. Schaubräu commissioned a well-known architectural partnership, Kreiser and Kossheim, to build this beer palace here in 1887 and 88. It had room for lots of people on the ground floor and on the upper floor too. Most of the buildings here were destroyed during World War II. During the division of Germany, Friedrichstrasse was associated with the border crossings between East and West Berlin. One was Checkpoint Charlie, which was used by foreigners, military personnel and diplomats. Today, the former border crossing is a tourist magnet. There's also an exhibition on the Cold War. Friedrichstrasse Station also has a museum which is in a former border facility known as the Palace of Tears. This is where people from West Berlin could cross over to East Berlin and where East German dissidents passed through who the communist authorities wanted to get rid of by sending them to the West. They were given the choice, prison or exile to West Germany. And most of them chose to go to West Germany. But that meant they could never return. The tears shed here gave the building its nickname. Three hundred and fifty meters further on is the Friedrichstadt Palast, a review theater named by the New York Times as one of the ten must-see spots in Berlin. Every evening we have 110 performers on the stage, the biggest theatre stage on earth. You'd have to travel all the way to Las Vegas to find anything else like it. In the 1920s, Max Reinhardt's monumental productions alternated with music hall performances in the building that used to stand here. In 1980, the structure was found unsafe. It was demolished and replaced by the new Friedrichstadt Palast. Every year, around 700,000 visitors come for the glitter and the glamour. Many more people come to shop in Friedrichstrasse's equally glamorous stores. The Dussmann Media Department store alone counts over three million customers annually. They come for the vast range of books and music, including what may be the world's biggest classical selection. A few blocks south, Galerie Lafayette opened its doors some 20 years ago as Friedrichstrasse's first real shopping highlight after reunification. Galerie Lafayette was the first store that made people with exclusive tastes realize they could find what they want on Friedrichstrasse. There's a unique selection of products and individual brands that you don't find anywhere else in Berlin.
Now, in the run-up to the Christmas holiday, the shops on Friedrichstrasse are humming. The lights and decorations lure shoppers to the centres of commerce. <laughs>